Sagittarius and welcome to your November tarot reading. My name is Nikki. I'd like to welcome you to my channel if you are new and welcome back if you're regular. This is a general reading for all Aquarians so if you are interested in um, something personalized just for yourself you can always visit my website. I will have that linked in the description below. I am currently having a fall sale so it's a wonderful time to get a reading. Okay, so to begin with, I'm going to start you off with your oracle card. It's kind of like a focal card for the month. This is what you need to know for the month. And um, this focal card is pulled from the Wisdom of Avalon. That's what the back of the card looks like, if anyone's interested. I'm going to get it all in the picture without setting it on fire. <laughs> okay, so you have the Fire Fairy for November. And she literally fell out onto the floor as I was shuffling so I went with her she wanted to come out and I'll show you the card a little closer she's very beautiful and on the card it says creative action and optimism all right so the fire fairy is there to to light a fire up underneath of you to get you motivated and to get you to do the things that you want to do. Um, she's going to give you uh, the willpower and the energy that is needed to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish. You know, do you have creative ideas, creative projects for the month of November? Do you have um, goals to complete just to further your career or whatever? She is there to see you through. She comes with the promise that as long as you're pulling your weight or putting in effort, success will come to you. Goals and completion will come to you. So she's a wonderful card, a wonderful omen to receive for the month. And um, she's there to illuminate you. So if you've had any kind of mental blocks, uh, creative blocks, whatever, she's there to lift those. She's a light. She brings light and illumination. So whatever you've been in the dark about or confused about she's there to light the way and to clear that confusion and like the card says she also brings optimism a general happiness a warmth inside your heart she's going to light that solar plexus um, chakra and you're going to be uplifted in that way also so wonderful card to get for the month of November and um, I think, you know, in my own personal opinion, she also can symbolize a closeness with friends and family, with the optimism and lighting the fire within you, um, that, that glowing sun, that warm love that you can spread around, um, surrounding yourself and, 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 you know, touching those around you that you want to touch. So, it's, you know, with November, we have ho a holiday coming up and... Um, you know, it's usually a time where a lot of us are close with friends and family. Not all of us, but a lot of us. And so if you can be close with friends and family, this is a great time to do so because you have a lot of, of warmth and happiness to share. Okay, so here in a second, I will be right back with your general monthly forecast. Okay, Aquarius, I am back with your monthly forecast, and each card symbolizes a week of the month. So we have, you know, the first week, second week, third week, and fourth week, and I had to rearrange things a little bit to fit into the camera. <laughs> okay, so from this reading, <laughs> I get that you're having, um, you're, you know, half your month is a little off, and the next half is really good and positive, so don't know exactly what's going on but we're going to try to figure it out all right so for the first week of november you have the page of wands in reverse right here so this little guy now if this page is yourself i'm going to say that you've you know you've tried you've either tried or you're trying to start new projects new endeavors um and you're struggling with it there's been obstacles there's been delays there's been setbacks there, you know, things aren't going the way you exactly planned for them to go. And, you know, with the Fire Fairy as your oracle card or as your focal for the month, this shows me that, you know, you need to hang in there because if this is the case where you've started something but yet you haven't quite succeeded at it, um, 
she is there to help you and to guide you along and to turn this card upright. So, you know, in the first week, you still may be struggling with whatever it is that you're working on. Now, this card could also symbolize somebody else in your life, Aquarius. Um, most likely a fire sign because wands are fire. So this is going to be an Aries, a Leo, or a Sag. And it's most likely somebody who's younger than yourself because pages are often depicted as younger. And if you're a young person, um, you know, they could even be younger by a few months. Um, but this is somebody that you regard as younger than yourself and more naive, less experienced. Um, and this person is quite pessimistic. Uh, they may be, um, you know, they may have a self-image problem where they have low self-esteem and that's reflecting in their attitude. Uh, they may uh, have aggressive behavior and um, all around just not be a fun person to be around. Uh, and, and they're very strongly affecting you in this in the first week of November, or they would not have shown up. Now, this is probably somebody who's fairly close to you, you know, um, a child, perhaps, uh, a younger sibling, um, anything of that nature. Um, and, and this person, this may not be their, you know, their reflection all the time. They just may be in this mode for for this particular week. Um, but then again, this could be somebody, you know, coming in from an outside source, you know, a friend or um, a, a relative or whatever. And, and they, this may be their general attitude most of the time. They may overall be a pessimistic person. And, and for whatever reason, they're having an effect on you in this first week. But I do think for a lot of you... Uh, this card is symbolizing that uh, you are just having a very difficult time getting um, your your projects and your your ideas put forth and 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 moving uh, because you did get the fire fairy as the oracle card. Okay, for the second week of November, you have the lovers in reverse. Now the lovers has a couple different meanings. Um, it can talk about love and being in love and, and all that, and we'll get to that. But um, the original meaning of the lovers was choice, about making choices and decisions and, and having consequences and things like this. Um, when the card's in reverse, this signifies to me that you may have made some kind of decision out of haste. Um, whether you've already did this or you're doing it on the second week, that's a possibility. This, you know, so what I'm trying to say is you may have already made this decision. And, um, and really, if this card indicates yourself, this page of wands, this could be you making a, um, an, <laughs> an, an unresponsible or irresponsible, there we go, there's the word, irresponsible choice or decision in this first week. Um, and by the second week, you may be feeling the consequences of it. Um, or in the second week, you may be making this decision. Either way, there's some kind of bad decision that's being made. Uh, this could be just something done out of haste. Um, perhaps you didn't have time to think it through, or this was something that you just really, really wanted, and you didn't want to think it through because then you were afraid you wouldn't get it. Um, so some, something that, that, you know, gave you instant gratification, but yet the long-term ramifications of it aren't so great. And, you know, when that happens, you may be blaming others for your decision, or you may be blaming, um, life in general, fate, um, destiny, so to speak. God. Some people blame God for all the bad things that happen to them. So, um, so that is one interpretation of the lovers in reverse. Uh, another interpretation, uh, is, you know, when it comes to your partner or whoever you're with, uh, or potentially whoever you're with, there may be some kind of imbalance there. Uh, you may you may not be on the same page in the second week. 
Now this is probably something very temporary and from your reading I do think all of this is very temporary. I think whatever struggles you're having in this first week and in the second week are going to disappear by the third week and we'll get to that. Um, so you know keep that in mind. Whatever struggles you are going through in the first half of November they're going to be short-lived. It's it's not going to be forever and and whatever consequences are going to come about from any kind of bad decisions made um, it's not going to be too harsh. Uh, but yeah, if if this if the lovers in reverse pertains to any kind of love situation that you're in, um, it just shows that there may be some kind of imbalance. You may be um, on separate chapters in a book. You know, um, they may be feeling one way and you're feeling another. They may be too busy for you, or, or vice versa. Um, and, you know, it could also indicate that maybe one person has strong feelings and the other one doesn't. So if you are, hopefully that's not the case, if you are in a committed relationship. If you're single and looking for love and you have somebody, you know, in mind, uh, you know, you may feel very strongly for them, but they may not feel very strongly for you. Or it could be reversed. However, you know, emotionally, with the lovers in reverse, um, I think that you're going to be kind of sad in this second week. Whatever is going on, and there's, you know, many possibilities here, you know, either with bad choices or being off page with, with somebody that you love. Um, there's, you know, it, it, all of that has the potential to make you feel sad feelings and and be emotionally hurt but the good news is by the third week you have the world so I don't know how things got flipped so dramatically and so quickly but they did and one week you got the world card and that's a wonderful card to get it talks about completion and accomplishment and success and fulfillment and all those great things it's it's also ending one one cycle and starting another uh, it's it's being on top of the world like metaphorically you know you're happy you're excited you're you're you know you've done it whatever it was that you wanted to do you accomplished it and how you did it so quickly I'm not really sure um, but hey if you want to put down in the comments you know <laughs> how that happened please let me know um, but yeah it, it got turned around for you and and everything is is great so whether something came through the fire fairy or whatever and and she really helped you out and and you had this wonderful idea on how to fix everything how to accomplish what you want to accomplish and do it quite quickly um it's happening in this third week now in the last week of november you have um you have the queen of cups now the queen of cups is most likely not yourself Aquarius because you're an air sign um, the queen of cups is most likely somebody else coming into your life now she could represent yourself um, you know in a rare instance this this could be you playing this character um, especially if you're feeling very uh, very intuit intuitive or very um, caring and nurturing at this time you could be playing the role of the of the uh, the queen of cups but for most of you I think this is somebody else coming in and she's most likely a water sign a Pisces a Cancer or a Scorpio and this is somebody who and it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a female I think it most likely will but this can it's just an all-around feminine energy a man can play this role um, but yeah, the Queen of Cups is the most intuitive card there is. Um, and she is, she's like looking in a mirror and, and she can tell you what you need to know. Okay. Whether she, whether, you know, most of us aren't, you know, psychic on a very strong level and can't read your minds, but she can tell you what you need to hear to feel better or to move on or or whatever it is that you're needing so this could be and since she is a queen she's somebody who's regarded as a mature 
usually a female, but somebody who's mature. And, um, you know, this could be your wife, your mother, your grandmother, a friend. Um, this is somebody that you respect. Uh, this is somebody that you look towards for nurturing. And um, it doesn't necessarily have to be a mother. Mothers are usually suspect, but we can be nurtured by just about anybody. Our spouses, good friends, you know, and, and occasionally, surprisingly enough, str even strangers. So keep that in mind. Um, she is there to help you emotionally, to guide you through stuff. So, you know, if you have any lingering hurts from, from these two cards or from anywhere in your life, she's there to carry you through. Um, she's also a sign that you need to perhaps tap into your own intuitive side or your nurturing side. Uh, you know, being all about uh, logistics or, or work or whatever, business, that's that's great but there's a time for that and there's a time for reconnecting with people and reconnecting with with um, emotions and and really getting to connect with others on that deeper level so you know there is a holiday coming up in November you may be spending some time with friends and family and and need that that deeper connection um, or it may have nothing to do with that. Uh, it just may be connecting with others on a deeper spiritual level, uh, regardless of a holiday or not. But, um, she's there to nurture you or, or to show you how to, to nurture others. So, um, so yeah, she could be there. As, as somebody for you or this could be a sign that you need to be this way for others or maybe it, it could be even both that is a possibility because oftentimes what we are giving or I'm sorry what we are getting is also what we're giving so so yeah um, also uh, in addition she is also a symbol of um, fertility so if any of you are um, trying to conceive at this time around the end of November this is a wonderful time to do it she is a, a great sign of fertility and it could also be a sign that somebody that is close to you that you know is um, going to get pregnant or is is pregnant or having a child or something of that sort so um, so yeah that is your reading in its entirety Aquarius I hope that you found it helpful if you did uh, please remember to push that like button and thanks to all of you who have shared my videos and who have subscribed and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe because I do this every single month and um, and I will see you again next month bye bye